Hello love. Yeah, um, got another review. And I just want to say, uh, if anyone's bored of me doing the relentless amount of Scottish beers, I just want to say I'm sorry. Um, but not really that sorry, uh, because this next one is called Cairngorm Gold, which is from Scotland. The Highlands of Scotland, specifically. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, um, going to do another Scottish one, fuck it, so... <coughs> I've got on a bit of a connection to Scotland. So yeah, um, Cairngorm Gold. This one is a golden continental style um, beer. Beer. <laughs> and it's got sars hops, providing an initial fresh and zesty flavour, with Styrian, Bobeck, providing late aromas. And it's from the Cairn... Not the Cairn... Isn't that like a race of aliens from Star Wars or something? No, it's from the Cairngorm Brewery, which is in Aviemore, Scotland. PH22 1ST. I don't know what the PH stands for. It might stand for like Peterhead or something. Um, but yeah. And if you want to look on the website, it's www.cairngormbrewery.com. And uh, yeah. Oh, apparently their brewery. I have actually gone on the website and I've checked. Their brewery is in the Cairngorms National Park. And um, this here, this artwork, which is very nice, represents that. And um, is the Cairngorm Brewery, just their logo. And for all you bottle top aficionados, the logo repeated. And if you look just here, you'll see the Cairngorm National Park logo as well. That is where the brewery is. Now, I have actually done my research, hooray. I'm glad I did, to be honest, because this is called Cairngorm Gold in more sort of genteel situations. However, it is more often than not sold under a different name. Sheep Shagger Gold. And I'm not even joking, that is actually what it's called. So these guys have got a sense of humour and I appreciate that. This is my type of brewery. Um, and uh, I actually hope they do well and I hope they expand because if they do, you know what they're going to do, don't you? They're going to go even further north. They're going to go to Shetland and they're going to go to Orkney. And they're going to set up two separate breweries. Where? Twat. That's where they're going to probably set them up. And we're probably going to be able to drink from the twat and they will do that so yeah um by all means support this brewery because we want this to happen don't we i do anyway so yeah this is the cairngorm breweries cairngorm gold and it's a 4.5 percent bottle uh and obviously in case you didn't know it's scottish I'm, I'm laughing as a Scotsman now. See, I'm getting so intense with all these Scottish beers. I thought I'll go one better and actually become Scottish in a sort of Rod Stewart kind of way. You know, I'm not really Scottish, but I might have a bit of ancestry, maybe. I'll use that as a one drop rule thing, just so I can live action role play as a Scotsman. And obviously, I've got company in this video, you might be able to see it. I'll be doing this for quite a while, because you will not leave me alone. So yeah, let's get this out the bottle. Alright, alright. Try this wand and become stroking a dog here. There we go. Off comes the lid. You're awful demanding, you know that. Okay, just give me a sec. I'll be back. Okay. So you can have a look at what's in. Dun 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 dun. Oh, flower of Scotland, when will we see a three-fingered head? Mother of carbonation that lays within this glass, also known as Actingal. That guy from Emmerdale who has a pint glass that looks like this. See, that's, that's what you call flower of Scotland in a more gerund kind of way. So yeah, uh, carbonation, moderation, three fingers head which is dissipating somewhat. It's fairly thick, 
bit of lace and yeah other than that it's, uh, it is what it is so yeah let's uh, let's have a one handed sniff shall we okay I can smell the hops with a slightly lemonish citrusy vibe it's got that Unfortunately, has that sort of little bit of a fairy liquid scent to it as well, which I, I, I when I had um, Whole Garden, I think that's how it's called Whole Garden. I think it's Dutch or oh, Belgian. That like white beard. It was a uh, it, it had that fairy liquid scent, but not as this. This is nowhere near as strong, thankfully. Yeah, so I mean the scent, the, 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 the scent of this is not that strong. It's just you know you can get hints, but it is it's it's a bit hoppy with a little bit of a slight fairy liquid smell and a bit of a you know a bit of a zesty smell. Right, um, so yeah, uh, we know what the this Cairngorm Gold looks like and smells like, but what? Will it taste like? That's the important thing. Will it be for a sheep shaggers goal? Because that's what they want it to be. Or will it be no shaggers gold? Because you know, I suppose yeah. In fact no, no, I don't think it's legal. Let's not go there, shall we? Let's just say will it be Cairngorm gold or will it be Cairngorm bronze? Let's not justify having sex with animals especially not that there's a little dog right next to me i don't want you feeling nervous so yeah don't do that let's just drink beer <laughs> bottoms up and up your bottoms here we go This is a, thankfully the slight fairy liquid scent that I just got before isn't in the taste which I was kind of dreading that it might be. It isn't. However, it is very, very hoppy and very malty. And the mouthfeel is excellent. Um, but yeah, the, which bit. this is going to come, but I don't know why. So it's very hoppy, so you've got that sort of bitterness. It's very malty, unbelievably biscuity. Like it's not a, it, it's 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 like a sort of digestive mix with a chocolate bear and cream. If you've ever had one of them, uh, it's like a mixture of the two of them. Oh, I forget what you're doing. <laughs> what are you up to? But yeah, um, it's a mixture of them two, and you've got that lemon um, zest finish at the aftertaste which is all good and uh yeah it's pretty uh it's, it's, it's all right i like it it's, um you know it's not bad i'd give this uh i'd give it an eight out of ten and because you know you know it, it, the only the only thing is is whenever i drink it all i can imagine is bestiality unfortunately and it's not my fault neither it's it's theirs for calling this Sheep Shaggers Gold by its alternative name. So, you know, that that's not it's not down to me that I'm getting a mental image of some guy in like Inverness, you know, who's watched Sean the Sheep and thought it was a pawn. You know what I mean? It's that, that's not my fault. This is this is down to the Cairngorm brewery themselves. You know. So yeah. If uh so yeah, if you ever want to uh, go to the Cairngorms, I would have recommend it because I've been to the Scottish Highlands myself 
Um, I went to spend a Christmas in, where was it? Carbridge. I think it was 2014. And uh, it was uh, it was like one of the coach trip kind of things. So it was like the stayed in Carbridge itself, but done like little tours around the Highlands too. So places like um, Inverness and Loch Ness. Uh, where else does it go? I, I went to some other little town. Can't remember the name of it. There was a restaurant in there, and they sold the best burger I've ever had. However, we were on a fucking time limit because we were on a coach trip, and I only managed to eat three quarters of it because we got fucking hurried up, which was a shame. Oh, and the waiter looked just like Lionel Messi. Yeah, and as soon as I got dragged onto that coach, we went to a fucking Scotch and textile factory. Which I didn't drink scotch back then, um, I do now, but I didn't then. And um, I had no interest in textiles back then, and I still don't. So you can imagine how I fucking felt. So I went from having a nice hearty meal in a fucking nice restaurant with a Lionel Messi doppelganger so wandering around a store in the middle of nowhere full of like old women who were like fucking looking at jumpers and stuff. And I'm just wandering around, fucking bored shitless. It was a hit and miss day, that. But yeah, I mean, if you ever want to go to the Cairngorms, I'd recommend it. Uh, or the Highlands of Scotland. You know, it's, it's a bit hit and miss. Um, but yeah, there's nice places and there's some boring places as well. Some bleak in parts. Uh, yeah. Definitely visit the Cairngorm Brewery. I'm sure they'll let you in. I mean, these guys... I have a beer named after Sheep Shaggin, so they've got a very liberal mindset. I'm sure they'll let you in to have a little look around. And uh, hopefully I can go myself one day. So yeah, <coughs> that's enough jibber jabber about the Highlands of Scotland. Um, <laughs> because I think that concludes the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I've enjoyed it. <coughs> oh, and there'll be more to come. Um, going to Southport tomorrow. I might do a little vlog as well, in case you just want to see it. Uh, you know, because Southport's a bit sort of, it's one of them, uh, you know. Some lower league grounds are alright where you're filming in there, others not so much, so I'm going to sort of hope for the best. Yeah, so yeah, then, that's the plan anyway, go to Southport, do a little bit of a vlog. The plane against Fylde tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So go there, watch the game, try to film a bit of it, and then come back, upload it, and then do another Scottish beer. <laughs> I've only got three more to go, don't complain too much. So yeah, uh, Cairngorm Breweries, Cairngorm Gold, aka Sheep Shaggers Gold, 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching, uh, signing out, take care of you. You want to wave as well? Never mind.